Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have another pick a card reading. This pick a card reading will be, does this person regret hurting you? So I have three piles of shoes from today. The first pile will be the hematite, ground yourself. Second pile will be the opalite, be kind to yourself. And then the third pile will be the cellulite, clear the clutter. So some of you guys will be drawn to more than one pile, most of you guys won't be. It'll just, a specific pile will be drawn to you. So use your intuition the best that you can and I'll see you at your reading. Hello, pal one. Welcome to your reading. So those of you guys that chose the hematite, ground yourself. This will be your reading on, does this person regret hurting you? This doesn't even have to be romantic. For most of you guys, it will be that, but we'll see. Fitted for how I resonate for your situation. It could be an ex-friend, it could be a toxic family member, but it could, mostly it will be love for some of you guys, so let's see. Or like a sexual connection. Does this person regret hurting pile one? Does this person regret hurting pile one? Four of Wands for the first card. Or do they regret hurting you? These are the cards that I see in my hand. Four of, four of cups, eight of cups in reverse, three of wands, I'm um, three of swords, queen of wands, king of swords. And then we got the ten of wands. With the four of wands. King of Pentacles underneath this. King of Wands. I mean, King of Pentacles, King of Wands. What's under this? Moon. I feel like for this part, you got a multiple people that regret hurting you. Because now they can't come back in. A female queen of wands, multiple queen of wands in reverse that were overly masculine or overly protective about you or just overly critical about you and towards you. Like they projected heavily on you. They projected all their problems and all their insecurities on you, like heavy projection coming from females. But then also we have the King of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands. That's three kings here. So it's like multiple air sign, an earth sign, and a king of in a um, fire sign um, archetype. Don't even have to be like the specific signs here, but it's just giving like the archetype, like an angry, angry women or jealous women that hurt you. But then also like overly possessive men or men that could have you know intimately intimately abuse you i'm sorry for that like yeah physically abuse you as well or for some of you guys take it for our resonates if you didn't go through that type of abuse don't fit it for your situation duh but it's giving like a lot of people hurt you i feel like and like a lot of things are coming out of the closet or a lot of things can be exposed with the moon and people are like worried about it or people feel ashamed about it and for some of you guys like People rather would manipulate you and like give you hush money or yes, yeah, like give you hush money. They feel horrible about it, but at the same time, like they just feel like if they apologize, I like, give you like a half ass apology or give you half ass money or just, I don't know, like try to give you 
but for some of you guys they feel some of you guys they feel actually like they've done some type of growth like they went through some type of karma for what they did to you and yeah do they regret it i feel like hmm do they regret it though let's see I feel like there's a lot of things hidden here that you don't talk about. I don't know. It's like you kind of want to move on with grace, possibly, and they just won't let it go. I don't know. They won't let you go. So, but with the moon here, I do feel some type of regret. But it's so many people that hurt you, Pot One. Ground yourself. It's so many people that hurt you that I don't even... Sun in reverse... Yeah, these people made you very, very unhappy. They wanted to see you very, very unhappy. They didn't want to see you do it. Yeah, because this is in reverse. It's upright. And they want you to keep... It's like they want you to still talk highly of them. But what grounds yourself, I feel like you're doing really very, very well for yourself. With the fourth, because this came out first. And I was kind of confused with that coming out. Because we're doing like, do they regret hurting you? But I feel like this is more so your energy. You feel more grounded. You've been grounding yourself, grounding yourself. And with the hermit I, in reverse, I feel like you've been spending time alone. But right now, you're, you've done a healing because of these people throughout your life. And now you're wanting to come up out of the hermit and be seen and be popular. For some of you guys with the, with the four of wands, you're getting some type of success. You're getting some type of acknowledgement. And these people see that. So this is why they're getting spooked. Or this is why... So honestly, majority... Like, major, like I know you came, like, do they regret it? For majority of you guys, for most of these people that hurt you, they don't really regret it. I feel like... Uh... I feel like this King of Pentacles and this King of Wands regret it. So it could be two masculines. I feel like whoever this is, they're still, whoever is still in this archetype, they're still hella like, this could be an air sign, they're still hella like manipulative, and so is this queen of wands. Especially the, you know what, especially the queen of wands, the archetype, she or those women are still really, really like uh, manipulative, and they're still going through some type of karma, because they just don't get it. Especially the women that hurt you, because this is in reverse. They're still going through karmic cycles because they just don't get in. They're so egotistical, and they don't. They still don't want to see you doing good. They will still come around and hurt you with the three of with the three of swords. So my advice is to like keep doing whatever you've been doing to get you to like in this. That's keeping you balanced and keeping you at peace. And because I feel like we, I don't know if this is retrograde, but this is timeless. So I feel like most of you guys that come to this will be during like any type of retrograde or any type of like level up. But these people are going to keep coming up into your life, especially when you when you're done with them to see if they can still be nosy. I don't know. These people don't deserve your time, especially this king of wands or this king of I don't know. I didn't expect this many people to come up in this read. But it's mostly the women that would keep doing you dirty. These men, though, whoever hurt you, this was like a romantic or a father figure, a brother figure, or just a friend male that hurt you. They're actually seeing their faults in some type of way. Like they paid their dues. So they went through their karma and they're not trying to do that again. But whoever these women is, women are, whether it's a romantic or a family member or a friend, or I don't know who, they're still dealing with something and like, they're still giving, sending you evil eyes. They don't want you doing good. They don't. They definitely don't want you doing better than them. Your competition in their eyes with the king of, with the queen of wands in reverse. I just want you to know that power one, and to stay away from them. Ew. <laughs> That's what I have for you. Um, if it did help and it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next post. This could be romantic. Don't have to be. I already got the devil. This power one again to the nitty gritty. You don't want to waste no time. I picked up the deck like this and then the one card that was left was the devil so yeah it wants to be seen like 
Power to your spirit guys are not playing with whoever hurts you. But what I was trying to say before that even came up is like this could be romantic, but it don't have to be romantic. This could be just, you know, ex best friends, family members, um, people from school that bullied you are like teachers or whoever hurts you basically. It doesn't have to be romantic, but most of you guys it will be romantic people. Um but the devil, this could be a Capricorn. You could be the Capricorn, but I really feel like this is like they did some be kind to yourself. They did some evil stuff to you, pal to to where it even like transferred into your thoughts of how you saw yourself, how you saw your physical appearance with the devil. Because that's also about how you see yourself, like physical value and like 3D. So I feel like whoever these people are, they hurt you your confidence. They hurt how you see yourself. They hurt how you view yourself. Like you you talk mean to yourself or it's hard for you to think positive. It's hard to, yeah, I don't like this energy. Oh, it's hard for me to do readings like this. It is. Well, pink opalite. You guys should get a pink opalite. I feel like that would be cute. Um, as jewelry or just around your home that will be pretty um double the devil six of wands you could have actually these people right that hurt you king of pentacles hermit these people definitely could be earth sign don't have to be though but I feel like this person this could have been somebody famous or they're in, they have some type of high status. I really feel like they're famous though, or they they want to be famous really bad. They're working their way up to be famous. One day they might be famous. Um, they could have sold their soul. They could have wanted you to sell your soul with them. You could be very attractive. They're very attractive. So it's like, you look like the aesthetic that you would easily give away your soul to have some type of success. Maybe you were I feel like, I don't know, this is giving, this is giving. <laughs> it's giving multiple people with the Six of Wands, but it's also giving like a main person, like a main man that hurt you recently or something. But it could be multiple men that had sexual attachments to you with the devil and the Six of Wands and still feel a sexual attachment to you, like they still masturbate to you. They still keep like sexual videos of you. Like they could even be doing witchcraft witchcraft on you and not even know it, like sexual witchcraft. So like they still like think of you and like masturbate of you. That's like, that's sex magic, that's witchcraft. Like a lot of things is witchcraft that people don't even know. I, I do spells I don't even know about. Like spells are everywhere, prayers are spells. But I feel like this person is very manipulative. Do they regret hurting you? No. They don't even know that they hurt you. This person um, is very into themselves. They're very um, greedy. They don't really have, they lack compassion. They're like, I feel like they live in the fast life. This is very specific, so if it's not, if you, yeah, this is very specific. Like a, for a specific person, because the King of Pentacles is here. And this is giving like some type of status. I feel like they weren't kind to you at all. So do they regret it, Pasu? No. They think pretty girls don't have feelings, possibly. Seven of, yeah, this is like some type of like, um, seven of cups. They found you and they still find you to be shiny and pretty, beautiful. Your body looks good. Yeah, they find you with the devil. They could have even spent money on you or they still want to spend money on you. Um, they could have spent a lot of money on you. I don't know. It's like they feel like they could buy you. They could buy things. But how they view you is like an object. Be kind to yourself. This person could be very moody. 
um, because of the certain lifestyle. So they're actually pretty mean, but then they come back in and try to apologize or they, or they try to like, this person can have split personality because of what they, how they're living, dissociation even. So this person doesn't even notice the emotional damage that they did to you. Cause I feel like the pink opalite has something to do with emotion. This person emotionally abused you. Could even physically abuse you, but you know, when you get physically abused, it affects your emotions and it affects your mental. It could have been other abuse, but I just feel like this person um, still wants you badly, still wants to be in a relationship possibly or have sex with you. That was definitely giving they want to have sex with you. This does, basically what I'm trying to say, this person doesn't, this person doesn't pick spirituality. They pick money, they pick finances, they pick shoes and bags and cars, moon. Look at the top of that, knight of swords. This person's been communicating with you or they want to communicate with you or they have runnings with you. And they made you very uncomfortable, made you very sad. Possibly even made you want to drink because you saw them and it stirred up mixed emotions and unwanted emotions and feelings inside of you. I feel like you want nothing to do with this person. Yeah, Eight of Swords, you want nothing to do with this person. Nothing good comes from this person, but money, luxury, nice things. So it's like, if you do end up getting involved with them, it's just your stack up your money. But I feel like you guys don't even, it's not even worth the it's not even worth it this person i feel like has a lot of money but it's not even worth it to you possibly this person's angry about this because a lot of other people find it worth it people, other people will sacrifice a lot just to be around them to be yeah to benefit off of them and the fact that you're yeah ace of cups like the fact that you choose your abundance you choose your healing over them makes them surprised but it also makes them want you even more i'm gonna be honest or makes them wonder about you and miss you even more <laughs> this person wants to buy you a house or buy you nice things still they still probably will but it's like is it worth it how to with the devil with these chains that Hello, pile three. Welcome to your reading. So let's see if this person regrets hurting you. Now this could be romantic. It could be an ex best friend. It could be whoever. Does this person regret hurting pile three? They give you a chum change with a knight of pentacles. Or they don't give you none at all. Or they always promise you is what I'm getting. So this person So this person could probably get very defensive with a seven of And then after you're like, Where well I thought we were gonna be in a relationship or I thought you were gonna give me this and that they basically got very, very defensive, maybe even argumentative or flipped it on you. So this person is very like do they regret hurting you? Not a pinnacle, because I feel like you're doing very well, or you just, you're focusing on yourself now, you're focusing on your looks, you're fine, you're focusing on self-love. So now they want to give to you, now they want to be in a relationship, 10 of um, cups, or this will, this will be what will happen. What? Three of swords. So this person gave you like chump change, or they didn't really want to work hard for what they were getting from you, love, sex, relationship, healing, whatever it was you was giving, but you were giving a lot. But I just feel like this person was very lazy and they didn't want to, like, they just were all about talk. They love talking. This could definitely be a whole water sign, don't have to be, or they have a water moon, or their moon placement makes them very, I don't want to say manipulative, like, because I feel like you just, if you're a shitty person, you're a shitty person, but this person just... You caught up to what they were doing to you, basically. They were telling you a lot, but weren't giving you anything. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. 
This could be a, somebody who's a brokey. Queen of Pentacles. This person's a brokey. They try to lower your uh, self-esteem. They did lower your self-esteem. They did lower your self-esteem. They been you, you're the Queen of Pentacles, duh. Do they regret hurting you? Yeah. Cause they see how, but I don't even think it's for like genuinely like spiritual reasons. I feel like they just see you doing very well for yourself and that's why they regret it. Or you, they see you looking really good now or they see you improving, not really paying them no mind. You're putting all the focus into your finances. You're putting all the focus into your kids. You're putting all your focus into gener generational wealth. You're putting all your focus into your businesses. You're putting all your focuses into working out. You're putting all your focus into like love, self-love, like nurturing yourself instead of nurturing this person, focusing on this person and depending on this person's lies with the five of um, pentacles. No more depending on this person's lies. You have the tower. You had a big, oh, big awakening about Putting your like faith in someone when you knew like your intuition or you doubted your intuition, you doubted your your feminine powers, you doubt you doubted what you already knew, or you just wanted that love and that self validation so bad from an outside source with the Knight of Pentacles. But you realize you didn't need it. So do they regret it? Yeah, they regret it because you look really good now. Or you're starting to look good. This person's wanting... For some of you guys, the tower again. I just shuffled 10 of ten of swords. They think about you a lot. They check up on you a lot. They spy on you a lot. They probably blow up your phone. But for some of you guys, they have no chance because you literally worked up out of their league. This is the knight of, this is the knight of pentacles. This is the queen. You leveled up out of their league. They can't even date you anymore. You guys are in different tax brackets. But for some of you guys, they're going to eventually, for some of you guys, they didn't really do you that dirty is what I was explaining before, but they were boasting more than they had, but they're going to eventually, I think they're going to work to, for some of you guys, they're going to work to give you what you were asking for. You just have to open your mouth. You just got to like keep your standards high, but for some of you guys, I don't know. You could you could attract a lot of men like this though. That like to talk about what they don't have and lie to you and like trick you. I don't know because you're the Queen of Pentacles. You need a King of Pentacles. You need an Emperor. You need somebody that's higher than your status. But you keep these people. Hey, you're so beautiful. Guys like to just dust these like to lie to you. For a while. They regret they regret hurting you. Yeah. But you know your work now. You can see your worth. Knight of Wands. They want to come back in. Whoever this person is. But now you don't have time for them. Literally you don't. You've been working. It's not even that you're acting like you don't have time. You really genuinely don't have time for them. So boohoo. Whatever. Yeah, you got up out of there. For some of you guys, you didn't have a you didn't have a child by them. You almost had a child by them. You dodged a big bullet. But even if you had a child by them, you still dodged a bullet because now you're on to bigger and better things with you and your children, you and your kid. And if it's not their children, it's just like you still dodged a bullet because you could have potentially added another child by this dusty by this person but i feel like even if you don't have kids at all just you dodge a bullet just know you dodge a bullet because this person don't have all that they say that they have it's not really what what is gold isn't always what's glitter isn't always gold so yeah they regret they regret hurting you because they want to smash again and they can't you look too good on Instagram. You look too good in person. You look too good. Like you just look, you're too, you're better than them. Way, way, way. You've been better than them, but you're way, way, way better than them now. 
He promised you all these things and couldn't fulfill these things when it came time to do it. And had a nerve to get angry and aggressive with you. And to run out on you, go cold on you. Act like you were the problem. Act like you were nagging them. But really, they were the ones, you know, Ace of Wands. They were the ones who couldn't provide Empress. Nine, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Empress. They can't touch you. They can't even drink your bath water. They can't even afford lunch. They can't even afford dinner. They can't even afford talking you to you. This, probably, this person probably doesn't even have Wi-Fi. They're not close to Wi-Fi. It's disconnected. You're unavailable. You're booked and busy. <laughs> You're pretty and paid. You're sitting pretty. And they're just like, whatever yeah so they regret it they were this is like they regret it big time clear the clutter you definitely clear the clutter you definitely took out the trash like on this one so yeah if it did help if it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you on my next post